one. Hey everyone, it's your favorite sports commentator here, and today I want to talk about one of the most impressive college football teams of all time, the 2008 Utah Utes. When we talk about college football powerhouses, we often think of Alabama, Ohio State, Oklahoma, but back in 2008, there was a little-known team that shocked the world, and that was Utah. The Utes finished the season with a perfect 13-0 record, and they did it in style, led by head coach Kyle Whittingham. They had one of the most dominant defenses in college football the year. They only allowed just 13.2 points per game, which was the third best in the nation. You could not score on these cats. But it wasn't just their defense that made them special. They had an explosive offense led by quarterback Brian Johnson, who threw for just a little under 3,000 yards and 27 touchdowns that season. They also had a talented running back in Daryl Mack, who rushed for over 1,000 yards and 12 touchdowns. But what really set 2008 Utah apart was their ability to win against tough opponents. They beat four ranked teams that year, including Alabama in the Sugar Bowl, which was one of the biggest upsets in college football history. A huge time win. But, but despite this incredible season, the 2008 Utah team are often overlooked when we talk about college football history. But they were a truly a special team and one that deserved to be remembered for their incredible season. I only wish they had a college football playoff back then so Utah would have got a chance instead of, you know, having to play, you know, kind of second fiddle all year to the big boys and just getting a Sugar Bowl appearance. But they proved that Sugar Bowl appearance that they deserved a shot to at least get a chance to fight for the national championship. So there you have it, guys. The 2008 Utah Utes are an underrated college football team that deserves more recognition. If you're a college football football his, historian, make sure you give them the credit they deserve. 